Hey, it's Janes here. In this screencast, we will take a look on how to completely automate your build and deployment steps when developing Angular applications. We will integrate Travis CI and Firebase into our existing Angular project. As a bonus, we will enable Greenkeeper, a tool for automatic dependency management on GitHub. I would like to thank Hussein for his awesome tutorial on continuous integration with Angular. You can find it on his website, Hussein.me. We will use an existing Angular built app called Pokedex. If you have your own application and you want to use it, that's completely fine. The steps should be the same. Pokedex is an application where we list the Pokemons and their stats. Application also offers the ability to save Pokemons to favorites for easier access. This functionality uses local storage. If you intend to use Pokedex app, please fork it on GitHub so you have your own copy to integrate. It can be found at github.com slash yamzi slash Pokedex Angular. After forking, clone your repo and make sure to have the latest Angular CLI installed. You can install it with npm install dash g angular slash cli and then just run npm install to install the packages run ng surf and your app should surf on localhost port 4200 if you will use your app your own app just create new repository on github and push your app to the repo we will first take care of continuous integration using the travis ci which connects to GitHub repositories out of the box. Navigate to travis-ci.org and sign in with your GitHub account. Navigate to your profile and you should see a list of your public repos from GitHub and find the Pokedex Angular or your own repo and enable CI. If you don't see your all repos then manually sync with the big sync button in the top right corner. It was that simple. And the last step for the CI is to add a Travis CI configuration file to our projects to tell Travis CI how to prepare environment for our app, on which branches to run CI build and which scripts to run on build. Let's open our app in the code editor and navigate to the root of our app and add .travis.yaml file and paste this snippet in. We are specifying that we are using Node.js and installing latest major version, in our case the version 7. We will watch only master branch and before running ng-build with a production flag, we are installing the Angular CLI. If you push your new configuration to master branch, you commit and push, the Travis CI should kick in and successfully build your Pokedex app. We will use the Firebase hosting, which is free for smaller web apps. The first step for us is to log in to Firebase console at console.firebase.google.com and create new project. Let's name it Pokedex Angular. Now on our computer, we will install the npm package called Firebase-Tools which is a Firebase CLI to deploy apps to hosting, interact with database or set up the authentication. Let's install it by typing npm install dash g firebase dash tools. 
in the command line and now let's when the thing is installed let's navigate to project folder and run firebase in it which will generate our firebase config file you will be presented with a wizard and hit y to proceed for firebase cli features select hosting and select the firebase project which we set up earlier next the cli will ask you about database rules we don't care about that so just hit enter select only hosting you can deselect other features with a space for the public directory write this because our angular applications builds its uh, production files into this folder and lastly for the rewrites enter y because our app is a spa single page application well done we have completed the firebase setup you can test the deployment by building our app with ng build and running the deploy with firebase deploy and your app should be deployed to firebase hosting take a note of the url where the app is deployed to the deploy process will be done later automatically by the ci Next, we need to generate Firebase token to be able to deploy to Firebase hosting from our Travis CI builds. So let's open up the command line and type Firebase login CI. This will output a link you need to click and later you will get your token displayed in the command line. We will add this token to variable on Travis CI, so our build process will have the credentials to deploy the fi to Firebase hosting. Navigate to Travis CI webpage, select repository, and click on more options, settings. There, under environment variables, add Firebase underscore token key and your key as a value and click on add. The last step for us is to modify the .travis.yaml file to also enable deploy to Firebase hosting as a part of our build process. Add npm install -g firebase tools in the before script section and the firebase deploy dash dash token dollar firebase underscore token in the after success section under script Greenkeeper is an automated dependency management tool which will help you update your npm packages. You can add it to GitHub repository simply by enabling Greenkeeper GitHub integration at github.com slash integration slash Greenkeeper and selecting on which repos do you want Greenkeeper to run on. After enabling GreenKeeper, it will create an initial pull request to update package 
dot json packages and add batch to readme.md file. It will automatically trigger the CI process and if everything went ok and the checks are all green, you can merge this PR pull request into master branch. Further, Greenkeeper will watch the npm registry for our packages from the package.json file. When the new version of package is published, Greenkeeper will open a pull request with the updated package. If there will be a problem, it will open an issue on GitHub.